Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video I'll be showing you the team I'm using for a foul problem. A world event that has just started today. What I do always recommend straight away is going into the shop and purchasing the tier 1. This is going to give you the potion of enchantment so all your troops are going to start enchanted at the start of every single battle which makes it a lot, lot easier. So only 30 gems, well worth it. You get extra event sigils, extra troops, extra gold, souls and more besides. If you buy extra tiers, you can eventually get a badge which you can upgrade to a medal which will do extra damage. But don't forget to apply that on your medals at the start of the game. I'm just going to do this based on a, um, a tier 1 for the benefit of lower levels players as well. And the team I'm going to be using for this is a fairly straightforward team. I mean, in the Elementalist class, I'm going to be using the Orb of Winter, Ulf Harrigan, High Paladin and Brian the Clucky just for the fun of that new wish gem and see if that will turn up right we're going to be against um some goblins here so freeze is really handy on this sort of thing i'm um, using the orb of winter what that does is deals a certain amount of damage to all enemies boosted by frozen enemies really cool in the element of this class i'm sure everyone knows about it by now that awesome third trait to stun freeze burn and entangle a random enemy when matching four or more gems on the champion talent side of things, I've gone for Snap Freeze, so we freeze a random enemy at the start of the battle. Insulated, so we're immune to frozen ourselves. Stone Circle, all brown allies gain 3 armor. Watery Binding, all blue allies gain 4 life. Rock Solid, gain a barrier when matching brown gems. A Lightning Strike, explode 1 yellow gem on 4 or 5 gem matches. And Fortitude, immune to stun, poison disease, death mark, lycanthropy and devour. Now, if you don't have Orb of Winter, what you can do is pick something else, which um, basically does uh, damage to all. Um, what's, what was it called? There's one near the bottom. War and Peace, I think it was called. That does it. War and Peace is another good one. Deals damage to all enemies, as well as give two attack to all allies. Apart from that, you know, like Rope Dart would do a good job, but just to be a little bit slower. Something that does heavy splash damage is going to be reasonable but um, definitely something which does damage to all if you can is going to be a quicker way certainly at the um, start of the game at least in second place we have Ulf Harrigan deals true damage to three random enemies and if an enemy is wounded deal 10 extra damage then summon Ulf's mascot and the cool thing about that is if um, there's no blue at the start but somehow we get Ulf Harrigan charged up instead we're going to take out the first three opponents anyway and only need one skull hit probably to finish off the fourth one and that's obviously presuming there's no blue because this weapon is going to take out the entire enemy team pretty much straight away high paladins there just as extra damage deals a certain amount of damage to the two strongest enemies boosted by his armor that will be um effective later on and brian the clucky is just there simply just to try out that middle trait there Chaotic Wish, 10% chance to create a Wish Gem when my turn begins. Uh, wish Gems cannot be destroyed, I mean cannot be collected rather. You have to explode them or destroy them and then one of five things can happen. Either one ally will get all of their mana, two allies will get all of their mana, three allies will get all of their mana, or all of the allies will get all of their mana, or all allies and all the enemies will get all of their mana. So fairly chaotic as it says indeed it is but um put that there just for fun just to see uh, if we can do that one thing i didn't actually think of is do we have anybody that explodes gems because we're going to need them right i may change something here because i do want to actually um be able to explode one of those gems so high paladin is something that can probably be changed there so we're going to need something to explode let's have a look All right, so this is our choices for exploding troops. Explode gems in a 3x3 three three cross. Okie dokie. No, it doesn't actually explode gems. That explodes one gem. But at least we can target that wish gem then, which is good. Okay, 36 life boosted by blue gems, and then submerge and barrier. Gain bonus blue, that's quite handy. Eliminate all armor from an enemy, that's quite handy. Explode all gems of one of the enemy's color, then explode all stone blocks. 
Explode a gem, gain life and attack. Boosted by green gems destroyed, green gain barrier. Explode a mana gem and gain armor. Um, I think we're going to go... With the haunted water guardian. I'll pop that in for now. That's the best one right now because we don't use purple at the moment. We'll use brown on them too. And Right, okay, that's the best one. At least we've got a uh, troop that now does do that um, explosion. So we can actually collect a wish gem should Brian the Clucky decide to generate one. On the banner side of things, I've gone for the sunken banner. Plus two blue, because that's our main colour. Uh, I was on plus red, because I had white lead in there, but I need to change this now. And minus fucking green, because we didn't actually care that Brian Clucky used green, because we're not going to probably be bothering with casting his spell, but we still want plus two blue. Ah, uh, that'll do. That's fine. Right, let's um, have a go. Look, if we get blue straight away, we should... Be able to cast this really quickly and just wipe out the team in a one shot. What will just do? Let's just, just cast this and see if we got lucky. Nope, nothing really much happened there, but we're going to be all charged up next round. So that is going to wipe out the team. There may be a better um, class for this one that gives them um, extra blue and things like that. So we're only getting the extra blue at the moment from the um Ooh, from, from the banner where it would be handy if we had extra blue at the start because otherwise it's semi slow going it's not the quickest thing in the world not as fast as I envisioned it right now but he's taken out three of them To worry about that, we can just finish them off now. Alright, I may switch classes. I may actually look at um, something else, see if we can boost this speed up a little bit. Alright, let's go with something that generates some blue. Actually, let's go into. I need to work on um, Corsair, so let's do that. Alright, let's equip that. The reason why I've done that is we get. Um, Plus two when matching blue, so we're going to gain a lot more blue straight away. And in talents, we're still going to freeze an enemy to start while being insulated ourselves. Uh, a lot of them aren't useful. Blue allies for life, not really. A bandit is handy. And if I had these, you know, if I don't have these, but if you, if you did and you have, then I would probably say submerge a random ally on four or five gem matches there. Gain bonus blue from that one. And whatever makes most sense on that one. Not sure we've got any rogues. Yeah, I don't think any of them are relevant, which is disappointing. But yeah, we'll go for Corsair, because we need to work on it and we get that extra blue. So this should be quicker regarding the blue collection. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. We're charged instantly now. No blue to grab initially, so we'll look out for brown instead. That's going to wipe out three of the opposition. We still need one more from somewhere. Aha, and there's our wish gem. So um, just for the effect, let's not collect that. Let's um, wait till our exploded troop there is charged up. I just want to see the effect when it gets used basically so we'll explode this one that's going to do oh well I should have slowed that down that was really cool when I get that next time I'm going to slow the um, game down to see that properly <laughs> that was really nice I like that the way you just sort of went wee and just appeared there sort of thing out of nowhere uh, Fundingus is one of the lowest scoring ones here so avoid Fundingus if you can always go for the 
anything else that's not Fundingus, I think, basically, on this one. Oh, shame can't get red there. We'd have got a four match. Take out the single character first, just in case we get Ulf Harrigan charged up first, which means we'll, we'll finish off. Right, I'm going to... not going to cast this now. I want to see how this, this Swiss Gem effect again. So I'm going to collect whatever I can to get Matey Boy charged up. Haunted Guardian. Nothing there for me to collect right now, so I'll just grab anything. Could do with purple or blue. Not doing, so... We'll wait for the enchant to take effect. I will slow the game down right now, so I want to see that effect. Let's put it in single speed. Now we can... See, I can't believe this is the normal speed of the game. It's mind-boggling. Right, now let's do this again. That looked pretty cool. Oh, was it the cross shape? I didn't pay attention then. We'll do it there. Presents for your team. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. I think there's a little bit of doom and gloom about this. A lot of people were thinking, oh, this wish gem is going to be terrible and rubbish. And it just adds a bit more variety in it. It's all fun. It is just a game at the end of the day. And I think there's quite a lot of um, potential with these Wish Gems to, um, especially with a Goblin team, I think we're going to see new Goblin teams again, because getting that on your team, uh, getting a whole team boosted up maybe, or at least a few of them on, on full mana, is going to be a really interesting mechanic. Especially with a Goblin team where you can then have an extra turn, because obviously the danger is, should the Wish Gem come up, which um, charges up, all your team and the entire enemy team at the same time then that is dangerous we'll do it again now so yeah i think that did that charge everybody up see in a team with a um extra turn that's going to be safer to do that we can take him out now with ulf and the fairy godmother Gains an extra extra turn and either creates two to three wish gems or deals damage to all enemies boosted by wish gems or gives life to all other allies boosted by wish gems. So this is the um, mythic which is available I think at the end of the campaign. If you get the boost anyway, the first paid for pass. And the traits are 50% chance to convert a yellow gem to a wish gem when my turn begins. So that is pretty effective. But it's obviously who gets to um, explode that first. If the enemy, if you create that wish gem, but then don't get a chance to explode it, then you're actually handing that to the opposition. So quite an interesting mechanic, this one. Be interesting to see how that goes in the future. It's obviously the other interesting thing about the wish gem as well is the fact that um, because it gives everybody all their mana, or well, can give everybody all their mana and the minimum uh, one. Let's do it again, just for a laugh. I think it's a presence for everybody then. Yeah, I'm going to slow this game down because I want to actually see that a bit more. Oops. Put it down to just one and a half times. That should be slow enough. Presence for your family. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think I was saying then I got di distracted. Um, you can have like the really high mana cost uh, troops in here with, with that and generate them and get lucky and suddenly everybody's charged up on the, you know, who had previously really high mana. So there's quite a lot of um, interesting stuff to go on in this in, in the future. Obviously dangerous as well, like... Uh, it affecting literally everybody. Sleep on slow speed for the minute. Just in case those wish gem appears again, because I quite like that effect and I just want to see if it says different things as well. Innkeeper. I think he's another low level one. 
But we've got all Fundinguses now and innkeepers, but um, can't avoid them forever. Might have to take one of the lower level, lower point scoring ones soon. Let's see if we just get the life taken away. Uh, nope, we took their attack away. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyway, let's uh, finish these off. I'll speed it up again because it's just too slow. There may be a point where this is worth changing one of the troops for a um, high paladin like I had at the start. That's generally going to do a bunch of damage, but where we keep on getting these lower level ones as well, then this is going to work definitely for the time being. Not a huge amount of choice in the uh, class levels to do something good on this. Not what I saw initially anyway. I didn't actually spend a whole ton of time trying to work out the best team. Uh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I'll just do that bit of damage to him because when we do this now, I should wipe him out at least and then Ulf, Ulf Horrigan gets charged. That would do the rest. That's, um, right, I'm going to slow it down again. I think it said something different when it done it for all. I think it said um, presents for everybody or something. Ah, oh, presents for your family. So it looks like we've got three uh, charged there. That's it. I'm not going to slow it down anymore. So, um, yeah. Pretty interesting. Let's give Old Paragon a little workout. See, I actually quite like that. Well, I do actually quite like that um, wish gem. Yeah, let's take out the first opponent and see if we can grab some blue. Let's see if we get lucky with him. Oh, we've done it to two of them. That wasn't too bad. See, don't get um, distracted thinking that that can match blue. It can't. Don't know why they put the colours there in a way. That's um, slightly misleading because you literally have to destroy them or explode them. There's no other way of, of getting rid of them. Might as well do it anyway. It's actually worth doing. I actually put um, Clucky in here just as a, uh, a joke, really, drawing a Clucky. Just to test the, the, the theory out with the wish gem, but it turns out it's actually pretty decent. When you've used your mana or whatever to cast your spell, and you get him come up and suddenly you've been boosted up again, it can work really, really well. Take him out, you see. Then um, we'll now do Brian the Clucky. Oh, and I pressed the button twice, I didn't mean to press it, I pressed it and it suddenly I've somehow done a double press. But if I'd have done it well I should have done it, then um yeah, we'd have got a boost. No, I pressed one o'clocky, not that one, that was it. Yeah, crikey. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Hang your knickers on the line and all that jazz. Now I'm talking absolute nonsense. Don't know how many people are still watching at this point anyway, probably not many. All right, now get out of it, this bang. All right, let's just do uh, another fairy godmother, and we'll call it a day. Like I say, there may be a point where, um, so obviously I've got this Brian Clucky there for a, a joke, really, and and also uh, this one's in there just to complement the fact that Brian Clucky's there, so we can actually explode that wish gem, but. If you're not having them two, you're not worried about seeing what the best gem does, then you can have High Paladin in there 
or two of Hyperladdins, even they do a lot of damage. Even an extra Ulf Harrigan and a Hyperladdin, that would work pretty well. So with that West Gem appearing, sometimes you don't have to uh, wait to cast. Sometimes it's beneficial to cast quite quickly, because the fact is you're going to get the mana back pretty much straight away. On well, at least one of your troops, absolutely guaranteed. Like, um, if I'd wait one more round, then, like, if I cast him now, you see, it's almost a waste, because Brian O'Clucky is charged. He's obviously charged because he's going to cast. This is going to charge next round anyway, and this is the only troop we've got not yet, um, yet charged, so let's cast Brian the Clucky, and then Ulf Harrigan, and then we explode them and we got charged again so yeah there is some um, tactics to be used in this let's cast lucky again see if we get any damage we didn't but yeah the game just starts to look really confusing now with all these different gem types every every time that's been mind-boggling for the newer player and look at this just mash of different shapes and stuff and it's like what? Look, see, it looks like at first glance she better match that, but you can't. That doesn't do anything. All right, let's get them out of the way. All right, let's do a last one, but I'll switch the team around ever so slightly now. So let's um, imagine we're not going with that theory of playing around with the um, wish gems let's try that and do I have an extra health yes I do maybe even three Ulf Harrigans might be better to be honest because Hyperladen is doing damage but not true damage yes I'm going to think that that is more logical we're only using two colours though but um, hey ho Let's go to blue and brown. That'd work. Potentially even better. Right, so let's do that. And then let's bung them to the top. I'm literally making this up on the fly now. I have no idea if it's actually a good idea or not. And have we got any weapon to explode? Because basically even now we're not interested in doing damage ourselves. We want to charge up those Harrigans nice and fast. Our ball of crystal will do a fairly good job. That's going to explode purple. Actually it's a knight from sword's edge. Tell you what, when in doubt, go with Essence of Evil. You can't really go wrong with that thing. That'll do. Oh, that's good. We get double brown this way. And now it's going to wipe out. Not wipe out, actually. Do a lot of damage to three of them. And the other ones are going to be charged in a moment anyway. Yeah, this is probably a quicker team to switch to as this event progresses. Make sure Iron Gut doesn't get any funny ideas about eating one of us. And then finish them two off. So yeah, I'll definitely change to um, Ulf Harrigan set of troops later on if you can. And that will do for this video. Or was this going to be going on forever? Right, there's a video. If you found it enjoyable, useful, helpful, any of the above, then it'd be cool if you liked and subscribed. And most of all, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.